I'm here with Wadil Khatib, an award-winning Syrian filmmaker whose powerful documentary For Summer shows five years of her life after the uprising in Syria. Now living in London, she continues her work as a journalist and campaigns to prevent targeted attacks against healthcare workers and facilities in Syria. How are you, Wad? Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for yours. Firstly, I just wanted to ask you, how are you and Sama and Taimer and Hamza? So we are really all doing well uh, with the lockdown. We are like any other family now, struggling just to survive this boring time. Could you start by describing what you do in 15 words or less? I'm a filmmaker, a journalist, an activist. I'm trying to keep our story of Syria and of what we've been through and still keep fighting to find justice. What advice would you give to a 10-year-old you? I want to tell them to open their eyes and their hearts to the whole world and look beyond, beyond, beyond what you can see exactly. What would you say was the most important lesson you learned over the last few years? Find hope everywhere and anywhere. If you couldn't find that hope, to create that hope. During the five years in which you filmed for summer, was there a particular moment when you, when that became clear to you? When I was filming the baby born story. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was filming a dead kid, a dead baby who was just like born now and he's dead. Like awful for, for me to see another mom who gave birth to her first child with this not happy ending as we all expect. I don't know why and I don't know how, I just kept filming yes, and yeah, yeah. when that baby opened his eyes, it was like just one of the moments where I can get hope from for the whole of my life. What would you say that you are most proud of? I'm so proud of all the people who I know and all the people who I met in Aleppo and all of the people who keep telling the serious story. There's an amazing effort from so many activists and people in so many different like sectors and it's all together making the amazing story of the Syrian people. Is there anything that you'd like to achieve which you have not achieved yet? I just would love to keep going and keep doing important stuff, mainly about uh, the whole Syrian people uh, suffering and what we've been through all, but also in so totally different uh, circumstances. I'm working now at the news with Channel 4 News, mm -hmm. trying to do some um, reports about coronavirus and yes. finding really uh, different stories. I hope just like I will find always like my way of doing important stuff. What would you say is the most important human right to you and why? Freedom. So many people in Syria for this ask. If we are free, if we can talk free, if we can uh, like express ourselves and our dreams, this is all will help us to build a free country with dignity and uh, just uh, like a good future. When the conflict ends, um, society will continue to be extremely divided between those that support the government, we, we assume, um, and those that back the rebels. You know, how do you begin trying to bridge those divisions? I don't think that division will stay for a long time. When we have justice, we will find an amazing community. We will know exactly what freedom means. That will give us so much things to pass all the division. While you were in eastern Aleppo, um, were there many times where you had to work with people who you held different views with or who you disagreed with? And how did you, how did you do that? Most of us as activists and people who believe in freedom and dignity and a free country, we are all believe that we want better future for all of us. Yeah. So let's just forget a little bit about what we like agree or disagree now and just focus that we are all against the regime. We are all against that killing. We are all wants uh, like a uh, better future for us, for our children, and just think about how important is it for our stories to be recorded and to be documented yes. and to be like told out. And that's what make me just like, you know, like focusing on this, forgetting all the other things. Wad, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Take care and all the best. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you.